take a pen and take a piece of paper and now on that piece of paper try to draw some shapes like a line a circle a rectangle a triangle or for that matter any other shape so what we are going to learn today is about geometry which is nothing but a branch of mathematics that deals with such shapes and not only that when i want to draw these kind of shapes i don't want to draw them roughly but i want to draw them very accurately in that case i would say that i want to construct these shapes accurately so what we are going to deal with is the geometrical constructions of some of the shapes which in general helps to draw such shapes very accurately and in particular we are going to deal with planar geometry as the name suggests it deals with certain shapes or figures that can be drawn only on a plane surface for example a paper geometry has been known to exist from quite a long time right from the time when egyptians used to build pyramid and since then it has been used in real life even now take for example a staircase a building or for that matter any other structure Additionally geometry is used in various fields like engineering projects construction projects architecture and even computer graphics so today we will start with some of these constructions and we will also see how do we name certain elements in geometry so one of the construction that we deal in mathematics is the construction of a line segment and not only the construction but we also have to divide or bisect this kind of line segment so let's see what do we mean by that for example i have town a and i have town b and between these two towns i want to lay down a railway track so these railway tracks might be constructed even beyond town a and beyond town b so i can say the railway tracks between town a and town b is actually a segment or a portion of the whole railway track or the whole railway line so if we make the same layout on a piece of paper or a plane surface so the railway track is actually in a shape of a straight line between a and b but i won't call it a line instead i would call it a line segment and why is that because it is restricted between these two points or these two towns a and b mathematically speaking a line is something which is not restricted between two points but actually extends till infinity so in a line actually i can have many segments but if i want to name a particular segment then what i do is i would take these two points in consideration which are at the end of this line segment so i can say that this is end point a and this is end point b so on the basis of these end points i can name a line segment as ab with a bar on top now if i want to name a line then how do i do it actually there are so many points like ab connected end to end in a line so what we can do is we can name any of these two points let's say we have named them as a and b and we can again name a line on the basis of these points a and b but this time we won't put a bar but we will put two arrows like this which will tell me that a line extends beyond a and beyond this point b now imagine another situation in which this point a is not the end point but instead it is an initial point which means from this point a there is another line which will initiate and will extend till infinity in that case this particular line which has one initial point and it extends till infinity is called a ray and how do we denote a ray again we will take the points in consideration so we will take this initial point a and we will specify the name of any other point on this ray let's say i call it c then i would say that this is ray ac and i would put just one arrow above it which will mean that it originates from a and extends beyond c now if you carefully notice this corner area this is an area or a corner that has been formed because of the lines and this ray so this particular corner is actually called an angle and usually we denote an angle with a small circle let's say if ray ac actually overlapped with line ab then they would actually make an angle of 0 degree but when this ray moves from this line and it comes to this position so it makes an angle which is an acute angle 
as the name suggests it means ray AC forms a small angle with line AB. So now we know what do we mean by a line segment. But at times we are asked to divide a line segment. Then if I am dividing this line segment in exactly two halves or two line segment then I would be naming this point let's say I name it as M. So I will get after dividing this line segment two smaller line segments named AM and MB. So actually I've divided them in a ratio of 1 is to 1 which means in equal ratio. But let's say if I want to divide it in three parts like this then I would name it L and I would get three line segments. One is AL, second is LM and the third one is MB. So when we say that we have to divide a line segment what we mean is we have to divide them in a ratio or a proportion. So this kind of division of a line segment in a ratio is also called bisection. So we might be asked to bisect a line segment or divide a line segment in a given ratio. So let us first understand the logic behind dividing a line segment in a ratio with the help of a situation. And let's take again the same example of town A and town B where there are two railway stations, station A and station B. And between these two stations, A and B, there are some more stations, C, D and F. And what we realize is that there is an equal length between all of these stations, except between the stations of D and F, which is almost double that the length between A, C, C, D and F, B. And let's say we also realize that there are many people who reside between these two stations in another town. So there is a need of building or constructing another station so that it will become convenient for the people of this town. Then what will happen is that all the stations will have an equal length between each other. So let us just say I don't have any means of measuring this length between station A and station B and I want to still locate this particular point where I can build another station. So what I can do is I can find another similar railway track let's say which is between station A and station G and all the stations between A and G that is H, I, J and K. So if I can think it this way that station G and station B are actually aligning then I can even say that station K and station F are aligning. Similarly station I and station D are in, in a straight line and station H and station C are in a straight line. Then what I have to do is from this station J, I will just have to draw a straight line and at the point where this line will meet, I can form another station, station E and I can say it aligns with the station J. So this was a rough idea as to how we go about this construction. So let us see how we really do it with the help of a compass and a straight edge. With the help of a ruler, draw a line segment AP of length 8.6 cm, which we will divide in a ratio of 3 is to 2. For that, let us make a ray at a small acute angle with line segment AP and let's call it AX. Now, with the help of a compass, divide this ray AX in 5 equal parts. 5 because the ratio is 3 is to 2, so 3 plus 2 will give us 5. Because the main idea is to divide the line segment into two smaller line segments where one of them will contain three parts and the other one will contain two parts. Thus giving us a ratio of 3 is to 2. Now label all these five parts. With the help of a straight edge, join the points P and A5. Take the compass and draw an angle between ray AX and line segment A5P. Draw similar angle from the point A3. Now measure this angle between AX and A5P with the compass and with the same angle measure cut an arc over the angle that we drew from A3. Now draw another new line segment A3C which will be parallel to A5P. And notice the angle AA3C and AA5P are equal. Thus, we have divided line segment AP of length 8.6 cm into smaller line segments AC and CP of length 5.16 cm and 3.44 cm respectively. 
which are nothing but in a ratio of 3 is to 2. And that was all about bisection of a line segment in a given ratio. The complete course for grade 10th CBSE Math is available in pendrive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.